More encouraging news from the UK economy, with the latest unemployment figures showing wages rising faster than inflation. Nick Beecroft, chairman of Saxo Capital Markets, has been assessing the latest data. The recovery is on track. It's good. It's a sort of two and a half, nearer to three percent recovery rate. Uh, the employment picture is still looking good. And getting better in terms of one key metric today, we saw that average earnings rose by 1.4% over the three months of October, as opposed to an expectation for 1.2%. And in October itself, they rose by 1.8%. Finally, above inflation, and that's a key uh, number for the Bank of England. And Nick, where do you think this leaves the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee and their thinking? You also had this morning the minutes of the... NBC meeting held at the beginning of this month. And that uh, gives the same picture as the previous month, a slightly divided committee with some uh, seeing risk to the upside in terms of the labour slack having diminished, looking at private surveys, no doubt, which are perennially more bullish than the Office for National Statistics on that front. Uh, and then you have the guys who are worried that, in fact, on, on yesterday we had inflation below 1%, for instance, and they were worried at the meeting at the beginning of the month that inflation is too low, the Eurozone is driving us into the ground. Forgive me, Europe. Uh, so that's the dichotomy on the committee. Uh, and, of course, the whole conundrum about oil, which... Uh, a lot of the Western world faces, the fact the global economy faces, is it due to lack of uh, demand or is it due to oversupply? Will it give a huge boost to the economy in terms of consumer spending because of low petrol prices? Or is it worrying because it's going to add to the deflation impetus that we're seeing around the world? That's the conundrum they're, they're facing. Given the economic picture, where are you positioned on sterling? Well, I do against the euro. I'm still short of uh, the euro against sterling. We've been stuck in a range, pretty volatile, 78.5. We touched 80 briefly uh, yesterday in, in the uh, height of the, uh, the Russian ruble uh, collapse yesterday. So, uh, <clears throat> listen, I, I'm still bearish on the euro against sterling, bullish on sterling. Against the dollar, uh, I didn't have a strong view, but now, I, if anything, I'd be short of... Uh, cable because I think we've got this chance that the ruble problem escalates into a major disaster uh, and then you get a flight into dollars such as we saw in the uh, second half of 2008. So if anything I'd be uh, short of cable.